Hi, just time for us 15 years later, episode 14, Clash for Control, part 1. The Hammond character I would have liked more, especially in the last episode when they actually do go back in time. He could have been like a book and red character or something. I like the time computer trip uses, well produced. I'm also wondering if there are any union issues, reasonings for not bringing back Jason David Frank and Austin and John for this episode. Probably just Saban, just for being Saban. Also, they had crossovers, but I don't know how big into continuity they were. Maybe they, could, maybe they could have introduced an old Green Ranger, old Red Ranger prior to Jason and Dave, Jason and uh, Tommy. Eric goes after Wes. Because at this point, I, I didn't really like them shipping Wes and Jen, even though they do ship in a couple episodes after I watched this episode. They rarely bring up the shipping in every episode. Even though the actors do pull it off occasionally, it just wasn't that well built up. Power Rangers Time Force, 15 years later, episode... F 15, ironically enough, Clash for Control, part 2. Mr. Collins uses Wes to get to Eric. Collins wants Megazords. Very interesting story, which is more convincing, more well thought out. Q-Rex has a time limit. I don't know. I don't even think that gets brought up in later episodes. They just sort of ignore that later on. Eric discusses Wes being jealous of Eric becoming the Quantum Ranger. It's a bit dark in that it's a lie but that isn't true. But it would have been darker if it was true and Wes portrayed that aspect of what could have happened. Eric leading the Time Force Rangers just seems very cheesy and I wish they didn't use that clip. Mr. Collins meets the Time Force Rangers. He's manipulating them. How would Wes have known they wouldn't join what Collins? He, he, Wes knows them so well after like 15 episodes, right? He knows their backstories. Even the audience does. This bald rich kick talk is annoying and stereotypical. Doesn't really make the character seem dark. Just like a bootleg, fake, terribly written Blade Runner. However, the cheesiness of the fight works. The monsters can't be. That's what the team works about. Jason Font says, yeah, sure it does. Despite lacking energy, also made it Actually made it seem convincing doing it that way, though. So, maybe that was a bad take, but, like, the editing made it work. Not sure the actual... Uh, it's pretty much lost in history, like, how that shot was done, but... It's sort of even done Dan Solve-worthy, which I really appreciated in a down self with episode. I see some Avera Killer mech design in the Q-Rex Megazord. There's some cool stuff about the Zord that you don't want us unless you see the show... When you're playing with the toy, I like the Zoo Ranger Rex, which look cool with no knowledge of the show. It was made by uh, Vescovo, so it wasn't all about toys. I've seen in Tokyo. Mr. Takalan and then takes control of Eric, and Eric completely immerses himself in that decision. Also, is it really Jen's character to make joining with Mr. Collins in her character a joke at the end of the episode? At least they're having fun, not like friggin' Super Neo Saban or whatever you want to call it. 